Hey guys, it's Hayley from Parallel Coaching. I want to share with you a revision video that you can do on your lunch break too. So I'm on my lunch break, I'm in the sunshine, and I just want to show you a quick revision tip in relation to peripheral nervous system. So a lot of people get confused in relation to the nervous system when they hit their revision, and it just comes down to chunking it down. So the one I wanted to share with you in particular that I'm gonna talk you through is the peripheral nervous system. So you've got your central nervous system and then you've got your peripheral nervous system. And the peripheral nervous system is everything that happens outside of the brain and spinal cord. So it's everything else. Um, so this then branches down into two main areas to start off with. So two main areas make up this peripheral nervous system. You've got your somatic nervous system and your autonomic nervous system. So your somatic is actually voluntary controlled, which means that we have the ability to go, okay, I want my bicep to contract now. So we have the ability to control, and that largely happens alongside our musculoskeletal system. So it's basically our somatic, it's the stuff to do with our, our external skeletal muscles that we're able to contract, tell them when to contract, and have some voluntary control over them. That makes up the somatic nervous system as part of the peripheral nervous system. Then you have the autonomic. Now, as the name suggests, this one's totally automatic, which means that you're literally not able to go, okay, uh, increase my blood pressure now, please. It happens automatically as a result of the demands that our bodies go through. And really that's, it's basically homeostasis happening in its best. Our body is picking up information and, tell, and then making changes, really small automatic changes in our body to keep us on the level, to keep everything at a stable level in our body. Now that's what's happening in the autonomic system and examples of that will include things like blood pressure, include our heart rate, our breathing rate, it'll include um, things like our, our circulation to certain areas of our body, digestion. Thankfully we don't need to think about these in order for them to happen, our heart beats automatically. So that's in the autonomic system. Now the autonomic system also breaks down again. So we had peripheral nervous system, then we had autonomic and somatic, and now under autonomic, we now have um, two more, which one is parasympathetic and one is sympathetic. Now, parasympathetic is to do with the recovery process. So what I'd like you to think about is a parachute. So parasympathetic, think about a parachute just gradually coming down and it's really, really gentle, really recovery based, really, really uh, calming. And a parasympathetic uh, response in our body, the parasympathetic nervous system, is designed to help us recover. It's designed to help us recuperate and build back all of our strengths again, ready so that we have uh, availability for if we ever need to use uh, anything else again. So it kind of re restores for us, it recovers. And that's how parasympathetic is calming. Now, the sympathetic is the opposite of this. So now imagine you've hopped out of your um, aeroplane, but this time the parachute doesn't open. This is your sympathetic. This is when you go, ah, I need to do something about it. And this is literally our flight or fight system. Here is sympathetic. That's the point whereby we get to the point where we go, either we feel that adrenaline surge inside us, and we start making adaptations in our body automatically that means that we're prepared to fight, flight or freeze. And that's most of us will be aware of that or will remember that, but that fits underneath the sympathetic nervous system. So you have, let's recap from the beginning, you have your CNS and then you also have your PNS, which is your peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system is broken down into your autonomic, and your somatic. Your autonomic nervous system is then broken down into your parasympathetic and your sympathetic nervous systems. So that's a little quick whistle stop tour on my lunch break as I sit in the sunshine all about peripheral nervous system. If you have any other questions in relation to your revision then please do pop a comment below and I would love to be able to answer those questions and do more videos for you in relation to those. I love getting your questions I love talking to you about all things revision, so please do give me some feedback on what you'd like to hear more of. Have a lovely day and good luck with your revision.